So, unless you've been living under a boulder for the past decade or so, you are versed with the fact that Bitcoin dumps massively, consolidate with some minor pumps and dumps, and yet again we have another huge dump. So, what's up with that? Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Eve and it is literally my full-time job to bring crypto to the understanding of anybody. On this channel is where I bring you predictive analysis, tutorials and research to help guide you through this vast world of coins and tokens. If this is the type of content you are interested in, click the like button and subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so that you do not get to miss the next video. Now, as we all know, we are in the bear market and the bear market is a period of sustained price decrease. Of course, this price decrease must be in some pattern. So we can't just have a big red candle. It won't make any sense whatsoever. So today we will understand what bear flags are and how to use them to make our predictions. So a bear flag, as the name depicts, is a bearish continuation pattern. Now this simply means it's a pattern that shows that prices will continue going down. So consider that you have price here and this price has a very strong move downwards and hits a bottom here. After this bottom, investors start to buy and the price goes back up here. Now, when they hit this level, maybe a lot of people bought here and they just want to take their profits. Or there are some people who think the price is going to go even lower. So they start to sell at this level. The price again drops to this level here. This level becomes the support. So they start again to buy here and the price goes back up to here. This level is the resistance. So if the price continues to do this, this now forms a bear flag that can be connected like so. So this is the resistance of the bear flag and this is the support of the bear flag. Now, the textbook bear flag looks a bit different. You will see something that looks more like this. So you have the pole, that's the price drop, and you have the support and the resistance, and you have the consolidation in between. But here you notice that the price goes slightly to the upside. The idea here is people buy more when it comes to the resistance because they anticipate that it will continue to go up. But yet again, sellers kick in and they start to sell and we have this dump right here. Now, when the price reaches here, investors start buying in hopes that they will take the right up as in here. So this can be described as buying the dip or perhaps FOMO because they don't want to miss out on something that could potentially be the same right as in here. And the same cycle continues over and over. Now, in this little channel that you see here, there are a lot of things that we can take from this. What we call the flag is the overall chart, what it will eventually lead to. So inside here in the shorter time frames is bullishness, whereas in the longer time frames is bearishness. And what I mean by that are these higher highs and higher lows, which are healthy and bullish, but they constitute to form a bearish pattern. And that is the ascending wedge. So without this pole, this rectangle is still bearish. But inside of it, in the lower time frames, it is bullish until it most likely breaks here. Now, here is how you get the price target of this. You measure the lowest point of the ascending wedge to the top of that pole. So, if you have a bear flag that looks like this, and this is removing the support and resistant lines, remember you will have to draw that yourself. They won't be in the charts automatically. Now, you have your support line here and your resistance line here. To get the price target of this bear flag, you have to measure from the top of the pole to the lowest point of the flag right here. Now, this is the highest point of our flag right here. And this is the lowest point. But if our flag, which most possibly it will, if it breaks to the downside, then it should break somewhere here. So if we draw our 
support and resistance lines, it should look somewhat like so. So that's the support and this is the resistance line here. This won't be perfect, so just bear with me here. Now, to get a price target of this, you already have the distance of the top of the pole to the lowest part of the flag. You take that measurement and you put here. Now, this is the conservative price target. And by conservative, I mean that we are measuring from the resistance here. So the bear flag should give us two targets, the conservative target and the real target of that bear flag. Now keep in mind price can bounce off at the conservative target. Now to get the real price target we will take this line that we drew from here and put here at the support of that bear flag. Now we are putting it here because price broke out from here. Now many traders will start to short this asset when the price breaks this support right here but aggressive traders will start to short when the price bounces off from this resistance here so if the price comes here and it is denied and starts to go down aggressive traders will start to short this particular asset and of course careful traders will wait when the price breaks the support here and then has a retest of the support and breaks down again then they take their short positions. The caveat to that is the price may not come for the retest. So we may just break the support here and immediately come straight down here. It is possible. And it is also possible that the price comes back here for the retest of this support here and forms a double bottom here. So this right here will be a double bottom pattern and then comes back here breaks through the support and goes for the resistance so you see that there are always enormous possibilities in the charts which is why i always consider at least five ways how price could play out before i enter any trade or make any prediction so if we have price going up like this and have a retracement go up again and have something like so now that's not perfect I know but if we have our resistance here and our support here then all we have said for the bear flag will be true for the bull flag which means if price breaks the resistance here a lot of bulls will start to long now aggressive bulls will go long from here and take the ride up so that it can amount a lot of profits and careful bulls will wait until the price has a retest of this resistance here and as it starts to go up again they take their long positions and yes it is also likely that the retest here could also result in a double top formation which will be confirmed if this retest again here breaks to the downside of this resistance here now keep in mind when the price is coming back down this that was the resistance becomes the support so it is only the resistance when the price is trying to break out of it from the downside like so think of it as trying to break through a wall from here so as you continuously hit the wall from here this wall is the resistance but once you are out of it this wall now becomes a point of support so as the price is coming back towards it here it is retesting the support not the resistance but if it does break through that support and is confirmed by a close of the candle that broke through it then it has broken through that wall which is why a careful trader will wait until the price or candle has closed outside the point of resistance or support. Of course, this will mean that you will miss out on some gains or perhaps a lot of gains. But you can also lose a lot if you do it wrongly. Perhaps there should be a slogan like drink responsibly for traders. Trade responsibly. 
So we now know bull and bear flags. I will show you an example, a perfect, a textbook example of a bull and bear flag. And I will want you to let me know in the comments what the price target is. For some days now, I've been talking about an unheard of price target. And each time I talk about these price targets, people come at me. They don't believe that it could happen. And I've said it over and over. These charts don't lie. The government lies, people lie, but the charts don't lie. The charts are there to tell us what is going on behind the scenes. We only need to learn how to read them without emotions. Over the past months, Bitcoin has been trolling us. We can see that from the charts here. Now, on this chart, you can see exactly what we have been talking about all along. We can see a bull flag here that leads to this rally up here. Now, we can also see something very interesting. Why did this not break down? Isn't this supposed to be a bear flag? We will get back to that. But fast forward to here, we will see a ginormous bear flag. A purely textbook bear flag. From the all-time highs to here. Now, just as a hint, all of this price action that we've been seeing down here is a result of this bear flag. You can see this line that I drew within it. This, this bear flag is the cause, is the root cause of all of this price action that we see down here. So what I want you to do is share with us all the price target of this bear flag right here. Now, the price target is terrible, but not as horrendous as the price target of this double top right here. The price target of this double top, in all honesty, scares the living hell out of me. Because yes, it is confirmed by this breakdown from here. So hopefully, when the price target of this bear flag has been met, hopefully, BTC should turn around. Because if this price target of this double top is to be met, I don't even want to talk about it here. But of course, you can take the target for yourself. You have to take the target from the all-time high right here at 69K to the neckline around here, which sits somewhere around twenty-six to $27,000. So believe me when I say that is scary. Now, I know a lot of people will not make you look at this this way because, well, they want to keep the views, they want to keep the engagement, they want everything. Even if it will cost me views and engagement, I will tell you what I see in the charts and what is possible no matter how anyone feels about it. One key thing to remember here is prices can't go up forever and they can't go down forever there will be a turnaround at some point. And I guess that's what gives all of us hope. So what we are trying to do is save our investment so that we can get in at a lower price. Now, some people will be like, just dollar cost average your way in and you will have an average good price. It is a good strategy, but it's not always good. If you did that at $43,000, when I was talking about 20K BTC, you would have lost half of your investment. That half that you would have lost could have bought you twice as much Bitcoins that you could buy now. So think about it carefully before you just dollar cost average in as everybody always says. The best way to dollar cost average in is to do so when your price targets are met. And yes, the difference between this and this is this is an ascending wedge and this is a descending channel. Descending channels turn to break to the upside. Ascending rectangles, well, you know what happens. Now, before you share your price targets in the comments, it's just fair that you see how they work for yourselves. So this right here is a bear flag from the ginormous bear flag we've been talking about. So if you zoom that out, you will see this bear flag right here, it broke down from here and formed yet again another bear flag. And I suspect that this price action here is simply trying to form yet again another bear flag. So we keep on forming bear flags that will ultimately lead to the price target of this huge 
their flag. So this is like the mother of all of them and her children or something. So if we take the price target of this bear flag right here, it should give us this target down here as explained in our video. So if we take the price target, we take the highest point of this pole to the lowest part of the flag. Now I always use the bodies, I don't use the wigs so that I don't get uh, liquidated or something. So uh, this is the body and this is the wig. This is the wig. The wigs only indicate uh, volatility in the markets, so you can't really trust them. You can't base a trade on them. I do not. You, you may, but I don't do that. So if we take from this top right here, this is the top of the pole, to the lowest part of the flag, the lowest body of this flag. Remember in our flag, the lowest body was around here, but it can be different. It can be here, it can be here, it can be here, but just take the lowest part of the flag, the lowest uh, close of the flag, which in this flag is right here. So if we take this uh, line that we drew and we put it here, to be realistic not conservative so conservative will be here that's the highest point of the flag close to the resistance and but i put it on the realistic side so i take the exact measurement you will see that the flag the price target is now giving us seventeen thousand nine hundred, and here is about seventeen thousand nine hundred and six and the price target here is seventeen thousand nine hundred and four dollars so you could know from here where bitcoin will eventually go it is in very rare cases that you see these bear flags and they turn around and go up so these flags that we see here are a huge characteristic of a bear market this is all we're going to be seeing for the next couple of months or a year we can also see a smaller flag right here that leads to a bigger flag that leads to smaller flag which should ultimately all of these smaller flags they should ultimately lead to the price target of this bigger flag here so thanks so much for watching the video i hope you did understand and i hope it was educative now i would like to know your targets in the comments of this video are you bullish despite all of this or are you bearish don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video.